So to give an update, we we're plastic gauging these uh, two metal, so three and four rod bearings, whatever. Yes, sir. So just as a, I'm going to tell you what I did, and you could probably say that's stupid, da da da, it is stupid, but what I did is all those pistons down there, we just put all the rings on them, oil rings, all of it, right, and all that jazz. So number three, the cylinder that had the problem with the water getting into it and the broken bar, that I don't know. Anyway, the oil ring wouldn't fit correctly on it, like it just seize up. So my file <laughs> wouldn't fit in there, right? That file right there. So I used this pocket knife file and filed down the ring lens slightly all the way across it until the ring would it does it's not as free as the other ones these other pistons but it rotates and goes back and forth so it should scrape that it up just fine if anything that wall just will get slightly less oil scrapage and it'll burn a tiny bit of oil don't really care at this point <coughs> just get this crap running but we're just got done putting three and four cylinder in or pistons in the cylinders lubing it up to uh get it all torqued down we're going to put all the pistons in, rotate it over a couple times to make sure it's not seized. That'd be fun. Seizing. That'd be fun. Oddly enough, that cylinder three is kind of tight. Now, I don't know if that's because the because the rings aren't seated to the walls yet, so, you know, it's got to break it in. I don't know. It's just being kind of sketchy. It's, it's tight, but it's not, like, overly noticeable tight. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's not like it rotates. <laughs> yeah, like it rotates, and it definitely rotates without me even like grunting or anything to get it to rotate. It just I don't know. It's probably just us, honestly. You know, old rings probably didn't have a whole lot of good compression, so it just felt different yeah. when we first brought it out. You'll know whenever. Okay, so when you're in fifth gear, say fourth gear. Say you're in fourth gear going 70 miles an hour down the highway. Yeah. And you let off the throttle. Yeah. What would happen? It'd slow down. But how, like, would you just, like, almost hit the steering wheel so bad? Oh, no, it would be like, whoa. All right, so if I was going 70 down the highway in third, and I let off the throttle, so about, let's say 5,000 RPM, right? And I dip off the throttle, your head will almost hit the windshield. It will, like, <laughs> that's how much freaking vacuum and compression that motor has. I don't know what yours did, but, I mean, it should have been fine considering that it had perfect compression except on that one cylinder so yeah it felt normal and you definitely got pulled forward when you let off the gas but nothing like when you hit the brakes <laughs> it's more like the rear end cape and all well anyway we're just giving an update because this is taking forever because everything takes forever when you measure stuff so give a crap uh we figure that if this runs for more than a week That'd be awesome. If it did a month, that's ballin'. If it does two months, holy crap, if three it... months, whoa. Yeah. But, uh, I'm just gonna be a little upset that if this does blow up, that we're doing something wrong. Because I've seen Matt Happel and the Fry Burger and the other guys from Roadkill, Roadkill Garage, any of that, slapdash motors together haphazardly like you're literally using impacts to blow you know nuts on and head bolts and the all the guys from the sloppy mechanics page just slap stuff together without measuring it i was really wa literally watching a youtube video on the laptop while we're building that's of a guy building a daytona without a single measuring tool putting new piston rings and yada 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 on this four cylinder that's gonna run boost on a racetrack for endurance, without measuring anything, on the back of his pickup truck, which was disgusting, it wasn't, it wasn't clean or anything. So, if his stuff doesn't blow up, and this does, I'm gonna be a little upset. I'm gonna be a little upset. That's, that's baloney. But anyway, all good. All right, we got it all together now. It's pretty rotating. Oh yeah, so we figured out something cool about this, which I've never seen while assembling an engine. 
each one of these rods, if it will focus, I love this camera, I'm going to get a new one. I, I get a different camera eventually. This, this is, come on, come on, you, you can do it, you special. Anyway, there's like special symbols, like this one's got two hearts, tell you which direction they're supposed to be, and they're assigned to each other. Uh, this front one has a clover, this also, this one also has a set of hearts, because, you know, symmetry is bullcrap. Um, then there's double diamonds back here, yada yada, because we're trying to figure the orientation of the engine. It tells you. I've never seen an engine do that. So that's cool. That's why I was just not looking all that well. <coughs> if you want to rotate the whole thing. Yep. We don't use the handle because it's... It's stupid. This is a $40 engine stand. It doesn't yeah, work. The handle don't work right. Is it a lot heavier now? <laughs> uh oh, yeah. Yeah, there's... One thing that pisses me off would be that heavy. This would be impossible to turn over the heads on it, though. That's for sure. That's cool. So, time to put the oil pan on, right? Yeah. Gotta put the oil pan on. Then we're just ready to put it back in. You know? oil, oil pan, flywheel, blah, blah, blah. Once we get yeah, it, we gotta get all in the air, all right? All right. The air and yep. Cool. And then, yeah, we'll be uh, nose diving her back down to put her on. Uh, once she's setting in there, like we gotta get her angled in there and uh, maybe hand put some bolts in, but uh, maybe not even get that far. At some point we gotta put the the mounts yeah. back on so that it sets back down in there. Did we pull it out with the mounts on it or did we unbolt the mounts? We took the mounts off to pull it out. They were on when we broke it free, so like we could put them on. Mm -hmm after situating it in there, like hanging it in there so far, you know, we could slap them on there real quick because it was really just the, it wasn't the up and down factor, it was the pulling it out that it was, they were right. caught on. So if we just kind of hung the engine right above it, put them on there and lowered it down, yeah. slid it back in there, this should go in there pretty well. Cool. <coughs> oh, by the way, the last time we recorded the video was probably three or four hours ago because uh Stupidity, not checking things, you know. Oh, not yeah. Not paying attention. All the stupid, yeah. See, next time we do this, to... when this engine blows up, it's going to be like 20 minutes. Simplest thing. Yeah. Something like that. Basically. Oh, I got a nice little crud right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy crunchies. Yummy crunchies. I think we're putting crap oil in here. <laughs> uh, here's an update. It is now... Three hours late, I'm just kidding, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour or something. There's an oil pan now. That's it. We did some cleaning. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm ready to put the heads back on because we got to mount the bolts to pick up the engine. Put it in there, we're using the heads, so we're ready to put the head gaskets on. Is that the correct side? I believe so. Is that the correct side, DJ? I think so. Do you know? I don't know. Do you know the way? I'm just kidding. Uh, that looks pretty dainty to me. I don't know how to tell the difference. I don't know either, so. I don't know what's on the other side. Huh? I don't like it matters. Yeah, I don't know either. Hmm. Hmm. Do not know. They're the same part number. Yeah. 
It's gonna matter. I'm just hoping it's not one of those engines where, oh, you blocked off this one oil hole and now the oil pressure is on. Da 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 da. Yeah, this head gasket is disgusting. <laughs> and now it's clean. Cool, so we'll update you guys whenever something more important happens. Like, we have the heads bolted on our helm. Peace.